What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Sell with Manuel vlog. I missed last week's vlog. I did. I did. I, uh, I held myself accountable to, to putting these videos together and I missed last week. I film and edit all these uh, vlogs, so last week it was crazy. It, I had a listing that went into escrow when we were going back and forth in negotiations, so um, obviously business first, right? But I'm back in front of the camera and it's Sunday fun day, it's the weekend, and if you're in real estate, you know that the weekend is the busiest time of the week because we're holding open houses. We're out in the field uh, meeting potential clients, potential uh, sellers, potential buyers, uh, making connections. So it's obviously it's important to work every single weekend. Uh, but today I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm going up north to Rancho Bernardo. Ben Biggs, uh, who's a realtor on the Disher Group, he has a listing coming out tomorrow actually. So I'm going to go up there. I'm going to take a few uh, pictures for him for his listing. And then uh, after that, I'm running back down to Chula Vista for my open house one to four at my listing 2158 Element Way. And I'll bring you guys along with me. So let's go. So it looks like we are here after. Uh, Probably like a 40 minute drive. Um, Carmel Trails, let's take a look. I think it's this place right here. Yes, yes it is. Vista Montaña. Probably one of these properties. Some cool bikes they have in there. Dirt bikes. Um, it's not vacant, so the owners will be there. So I might need to uh, turn off the camera but we'll see. This is, that's the house right there. Coming to market pretty soon. Get my, uh, my stuff. Looks like a nice little community here. It's nice and quiet. Is that the owner? Oh no. Hey. All right, let's head on inside. So I'm out here while I'm doing, uh, I'm taking the pictures right now. You can see my cameras right there. Um, I'm playing around with exposure and f-stop and shutter speed. There's so much to taking pictures with video. I think it's just so much easier. It's either you record in 4K and then frames per second. Um, but here, here I'll show you guys what I'm dealing with. So in a picture like this one, can you see it? So you either, um, exp oh, let me see. So you either um, have this super bright and this dark or this super bright and this dark. So uh, obviously I'll play around in, uh, in post, see what I can uh, better it and make it bright and make it look nice. So uh, we can throw it up on the MLS. So that's a wrap with that. I uh, just finished the, uh, the pictures. Hopefully it turned out, I think they turned out very well. For a uh, first timer, I think they turned out very well, but uh, I want to get your, your guys' opinion, which is what really matters. Um, so I'm going to post them in right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you don't like them, let me know. I don't care. If you say, hey, those pictures are shit, please tell me. If you say, hey, those pictures are nice, please tell me. I'll feel good about myself. Comment right now. Okay, so now I'm out here putting open house signs. I think it's, uh, there's a tactic to putting open house signs. Really, I think there's two reasons why um, we put open house signs. One is obviously you wanna get the, uh, the potential buyer to the listing, right? Uh, but in today's day and age, everyone has GPS. Everyone knows exactly where the house is located. I think really open house signs are more towards maybe people driving by to another listing and then they drive by one of your open house signs. They're like, oh shoot, like I didn't see that uh, open house was today or that listing, let's go check it out. So maybe if they're driving within the area, I, I would say. Other than that, I think it's uh, showing who you are. Shoot, like 
Um, if you think about it, it's really like a billboard. Um, it's a billboard with your name on it, your information. So I think it works kind of uh, in a way of promotion because your name, Manuel, my phone number, who I work for, open house, they're seeing this uh, constantly throughout uh, week by week in the same area. So I think that always helps. You meet someone and you tell them, hey, my name is Manuel Sanchez. I'm a, I'm a uh, real estate agent with Canada Brokerage or the district group. They're like, oh, shoot, like I've seen your open house signs by my place. Uh, I've been thinking about selling my place. So I think that works. So let's uh, go over here and cross the street really quick. Plus you get a good workout. Rule number one when putting open house signs is don't get yourself run over. Um, obviously we're in a very quiet street. Um, there's not a lot of cars going by, plus it's Sunday. So people are out and about and uh, we'll see a lot more traffic later on as the day goes on. So for example, right now uh, it's Sunday. Uh, best time to hold an open house on Sunday is one to four. It gives people time to wake up, go have breakfast, um, go to church. And then after that, they go out and, uh, and see the open house. See, in this situation, I'm putting my open house right here, right next to the sales office for the new development here, which is Shea Homes. So I, I've actually been, been trying to do this, which, by the way, it has worked, where I've, I've been putting open house signs next to their uh, sales office sign, and it's actually driven people to my open house. They're like, oh, shoot, like, they go in the office and uh, everything's sold out right now with them. I think there's a wait list of like two years before they start developing on this side. But uh, so I put open house right next to them and then they come into uh, my listing. And they're like, oh shoot, we saw your open house sign and we figure why not take a look at it. So I actually picked up one buyer by doing that. So there you go, paid off. I think there's a lot of strategy, tactic, whatever you want to call it behind open houses. But more importantly, I think it's, it's uh, uh, number one thing is being prepared. Um, what I mean by that is uh, every time the weekend comes along and I, or I'm about to hold an open house, I'm, I get prepared as in I, I make sure all my open house signs are in my car already loaded. I, uh, I have my table ready to go, which I'll show you right now, all my whole setup. I have my iPad is fully charged for people to sign in. Music box is, is, is all charged up for, for, to play music in, at the open house. I'm trying to make it fun and inviting for people uh, because it's, it's essentially it's their first time walking into the property and you want to make a, first good, uh, uh, a good first impression. You have my pull up. So it just shows you the presence of the district group. Then you turn over here and you have the whole setup. Um, very easy to throw in the car. The table actually folds up uh, so I can put in the trunk of the car. You have a table wrap with a name, um, all my, my social media tags on there or handles. And you just have a little bit of everything on here. Uh, we obviously have, number one thing is the flyer for the property. You have nice little, uh, booklets here that you can hand out for people to take home. You have district group pens. Uh, but I think these three flyers are the most important thing of the open house. And I'll tell you why. Number one is my bio. I've gotten people come in here and they say, well, you know, I'm thinking about selling my house and you don't really have a lot of, a lot of time to really, it's kind of like an elevator pitch because you don't have a lot of time to explain to them who you are, um, what you do. Uh, so I think the uh, bio, the agent bio though is great for them to take home and be like, well, let's see if we want to work with this agent. Let's read a little bit about him. So I think the agent bio is great. And obviously in the back, it's a whitelist with the district group and all the fun information on there. I'm holding an open house right now and I actually got a visitor uh, while I was recording. So um, just as I was saying, we, um, we created these flyers about a month ago and these are great flyers to hand out to really anyone and everyone who walks in the open house. Why? Because 
let's say they walk in and they're, they're renters and they're like, hey Manuel, yeah, we're looking to buy. Uh, we're currently renting right now. Um, so you give them your whole spiel of you know, why it's better to own than rent. And then before they leave, you give them this right here, home buying process. It's very rare, you'd be surprised, it's very rare for people to know uh, all the steps in the home buying process. So right here we outlined, if I see it, we outlined every single step of the home buying process. Now obviously at the end you get your keys, right? See my information? Very easy to read. Um, they can get in contact with me and not only that, we didn't waste any real estate space because in the back you get the advantages of buying versus sell, uh, buying versus renting. You get the lender, Nick Maglio, and my information again there as well. So these are great to, uh, for someone who's renting right now or just looking to buy. The third one is my favorite one. And if you've seen my vlogs, you've seen I did a whole video explaining every single step. I thought there was someone here. Anyways, I feel like there's a lot out there for the first time home buyer, but not necessarily for the first time home seller. So uh, we created this um, flyer here. You can see it, which is the home selling process. Again, I do get a lot of people coming in here and saying, Manuel, um, yes, I want to buy, but I need to sell first. So we created this, this is great, and it'll run through the whole thing, and then obviously at the, at the bottom you see my information, very easy to read, and the back, you get another Y list with the Disher Group. So think about it, just you walk into an open house that you're possibly buying, what do you want to feel? You obviously want it to smell nice, you want it to show nice, you want all the lights turned on, you want a little bit of music just to make it fun and interesting, and you want to walk in and, and get the most information from not just the property, but the person who's selling it as well. Uh, so I think that's, those three flyers are, are key to having um, to not only remind them when they throw it in their car and they get into the car two weeks later and they see your face on there, they're like, oh shoot, Manuel, yeah, I met him at the open house. He was a great agent. Um, he's super professional. He had everything. He signed in with the iPad, which I need to set up right there, right there. Um, so just, you know, it's a great leave behind and the bio where they can read all about you when they, they leave. So that was it. That was uh, my open house video I had for you guys. I did a lot. It's Sunday fun day. I know that, but I love what I do and I love, you know, doing these videos for you guys and holding open houses and meeting new people, you know, from going up north to taking pictures and then coming back down south to, um, to hold this open house. Uh, I think there's a lot that goes into it. Um, being prepared is number one. Um, number two, which I think is the most important thing above everything is hitting the like button. Uh, I'm just joking. Anyways, but do hit the like button. But I, like I said, it's being prepared, having your, uh, your stuff ready to go the night before, and just being open to, to meeting new people and to talking, being, uh, feeling comfortable and to talking to people who just, you just met and not only about the listing, but learning about them as well which I think goes a long way. A lot of people, they, a lot of agents, you know, have people walk in and all they talk about is the house. Yes, they're here for the house, but you may never know. They're, they may be here to interview you because they're looking to sell their house. So I think uh, making a more uh, human connection with them and learning about them and what they're looking for, I truly believe that this is the best way to meet potential clients. Um, so Anyways, uh, I want to thank you guys for another uh, for watching another Sell with Manuel vlog. I'm super excited. I, I do apologize about not having one last week. Like I said, I was very busy, but I'm back now, and I won't miss another one. I promise I'm holding myself accountable. But anyways, thanks for watching another vlog, and I'll see you on next week.